Health alert. The Florida Department of Health is posting warning signs like this one near some waterways in Broward County. They found evidence of blue green algae in the waters. Now, tonight, residents are concerned about possible health effects as well as the impact on their neighborhoods and their pets. CBS 4's Kerry Cott has been following the story. He joins us now live from Plantation. Kerry, I know you went searching for answers about what's causing the bloom. What have you learned? Well, Elliot, first of all, let me show you the sign. This is outside of a canal here along um, 16th Street in Plantation. This sign and another one just like it went up sometime in the last couple of weeks, and they are alerting people to blue-green algae in several canals in the presence of a toxin in the water. Now, we don't want to be alarmist. We haven't seen any dead fish here. There's none of that pungent smell that is generally associated with some of these types of situations. However, it is concerning enough for the Department of Health to put up these signs and let people know that this is a problem that everyone in the state really needs to pay attention to. Pictures from a local resident uh, show what the canals have looked like uh, during parts of this week. According to state environmental managers, the waterways in a couple of the neighborhood canals have tested positive for the presence of a toxin known microcystis. That toxin can be harmful to pets and people. Now, this does appear to be in very low levels. But again, it was enough for the Florida Department of Health to put up these warning signs. The signs tell people to stay out of the water, not to get water in their eyes, nose, or mouth, and to keep their pets away from the water as well. We spoke with Shannon Estenoz of the Everglades Foundation. She said blue-green algae is a sign of excess nutrient pollution in the water, and it can come from many sources like agricultural runoff, lawn fertilizers, grass clippings in the water. She offered some important advice. Be really thoughtful about it and recognize that almost everything you put on your lawn, not everything, but almost everything is going to eventually end up either in the groundwater or it's going to end up in your, the canal in your neighborhood. So the Everglades Foundation told me that they are hopeful that work being done by the state will make a difference here. They cited specifically the formation of a blue-green algae task force as well as significant funding to deal with this issue. And coming up new tonight at 11 o'clock, you will hear from a member of that blue-green algae task force. I did reach out to state officials over the last couple of days. They told me that they are working to test waters throughout the state where these algae blooms are potentially happening. They also said they're working diligently to try to keep these type of nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus out of our waterways. Live in Plantation, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News. Kerry, a lot of good information. Thank you so much. Now